create two tessellations from Microsoft Word. Tessellations are patterns formed by the repetition of one shape or one unit of shapes. The first tessellation we will create will have four color, be arranged in a pattern, and use one type of shape. You would open a Word document, go to the Insert tab, click on Shapes, and pick a shape. In this case, this is a cross. Click on the document, and your cross or image shape should be on the document. Press Ctrl D on the image or shape, and you would duplicate that shape. Arrange the shape in a straight row or straight line. You could do this by um, clicking on the shape and dragging it to the top to form a line. By putting the repetitious shape in one straight line, you can see a pattern forming. You could change the color of the shape by clicking on it and then clicking on the fill color and selecting the color you want it to be. You could group it into one image by clicking on or holding down control and then selecting the shape, then going to the top button and clicking on group. It has now become one group or one unit. Like the previous shape, you could press Ctrl D to duplicate this one group or one unit of shape. Remember though, if you're too slow and you press Ctrl or D at separate times, you'll get the letter D instead of duplicating it. In this case, I'm pressing Ctrl D quick enough for it to duplicate the shape. I'm going to bring this shape down just so you can see it. I'm going to stack it there in the middle of the page. You can stack the second row. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly like because you want to create patterns. So for the, the first row I made, I made it start with blue. But for the second row, I started with the color red. The third row, I'm going to decide that it is going to be like the, the first row I made. So it's like an alternating pattern. As you can see, there's going to be four rows of tessellations with alternating patterns every other row. I don't think I have enough tessellation or um, enough of the duplicated um, unit, so I'm going to try to press Ctrl D. Oops, I did too slow again. Let's see if I can do it again. Ctrl D. All right, that's good. I'm going to drag it there so it completes my tessellation. Put the other one there to fill it out. And there you go. Um, a tessellation with alternating rows but with a pattern in a sense. If you look at diagonally, if you look at straight, there's a pattern, a geometric design of a sort. And that is one tessellation. It wasn't too hard. One shape, and I just changed the uh, different colors. I made it into a pattern and I started stacking or putting it in different rows. The second tessellation we will create is using one color and one shape. Open the Word document again, go to Insert, go to Shapes, pick a different shape. For this example, I'm going to pick an octagon. Okay, now you have the octagon. Remember to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Remember, if you're too slow, you might be. Um, if you're too slow in pressing Control D, you might um, type in the word D instead. In this case, though, I'm fortunate that I'm actually okay. I am now just going to line it up. And now I want to make it into one unit or group it as one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, hold down the Control key, click on the other shape, go up, 
and click as group. That's one group now. I'm going to try to quickly press Control D. Let's see if I could do it. Oh, drops another D. Okay, let's do it quicker. Control D, Control D. All right, it's duplicating. And you could duplicate as much as you want. Um, I actually would advise people if you really want to make it look like a tessellation, um, I would probably duplicate as much as I can because the more uh, repetition shape and pattern, the more it looks like a tessellation um, or a geometric design. If you only have two rows or two stacks, it's not going to look as pretty of a design or pattern. So let's see if I can make it more than four rows. It's just going to be a little bit since I want to make it more than four rows. As you can see, it's pretty simple. I'm just putting it on top of one another or connecting it to another. Um, if you look at it in the top right corner, I mean top left corner, you can see that by stacking the octagons together, I'm forming um, diamonds in the middle. So it's almost like there's two shapes, not just one. Okay, let's see how we're going. Looks good. Okay, we're just missing maybe one more unit. Let's complete that. Let's see if we can do Control D. Still D. Okay, another Control D. Yay! We created that. All right, and this is our tessellation. Pretty nice, huh? There is a pattern. You see a diamonds in there, and you also see octagons. Okay, and this is just by... Um, I just want to recap. Control D to duplicate. Hold Control, select shapes, go to format tab, and click group to group the, unit, the shapes as one unit.